and welcome to the commentary version of Deep Six. The purpose of this video is to give the other druids out there some help with general strategies and arenas. First up, we have Feral 2v2s. I play a standard Feral spec with Nurturing Instinct, with a Shadow Step Rogue as a partner. Okay, the first matchup we have is against a Warrior Druid. This is a pretty common 2v2 comp. And the way we're going to deal with this is we're going to have both of us put all our bleeds on the Warrior. And the Rogue's going to run off, vanish, and uh, cheap shot, kidney shot the Druid right when he comes out of stealth before he gets a chance to put up a lot of hots. What this is going to do is it's going to put a lot of pressure on both of them. And the Druid's going to have to make a choice about which person he wants to heal. And depending on how they use their trinkets, we can pretty easily switch targets and uh, drop one of them. So in this case, when the warrior gets off me and intercepts the rogue, we can root him, and if he decides to trinket that, we can blind him, and we'll have enough time to finish off the druid. If the druid decides to trinket any of the stuff we throw at him, we can blind him, and then we can finish off the warrior. Up next we have a warlock rogue team. Against this team, both targets can die fast, however this particular team is a dwarf rogue, so we have to kill the lock since the dwarf can stone form, cloak of shadows, vanish to get out of just about anything. So you gotta make sure to pounce the warlock after the rogue opens on your rogue. I don't have as many tricks to stay alive as a rogue does, so it's really important that their target is the rogue and not me. Notice here that I'm using two-piece tier six, which allows me to do a pounce, mangle, shred, rip combo in uh, just about the time that he's stunned. So it puts out a lot of damage, really quick. After the Warlock drops, it's uh, just heal up, stay alive, and usually the rogue will just AFK out. Up next we got a Fire Mage Rogue team. They're both human here, so what True Kill is going to do is it's going to pre-vanish to avoid getting sapped, and uh, it actually lets him sap the enemy rogue if he finds him. This time he does find him, so we can both open up on him and drop him fast. Against any Rogue Mage team, you're going to want to load up on bleeds, and then run away as fast as you can, because you're always going to be the target. The rogue is, uh, has a lot more tricks to stay alive, so they're always going to be gunning for you. By the time his Palm Pyro hits me, I'm already healing around a pillar. So the rogue dies and uh, you heal it up and finish it off. Next up is a Frost Mage Rogue team. This is going to be a very similar match to the Fire Mage team, but it's a little bit easier to deal with since you can shift out of Shatter combos. Uh, this Rogue is human and gets a sap off on True Killer, and we'll put him in a bad position right at the start. I know that I'm going to be the target, so my goal is to run away while True Killer stops the Rogue from stunning me. So what True does is he gets the Rogue to burn his trinket on blind, and he vanishes to Cheap Shot, Kidney Shot to buy me enough time to run away and restone. True actually puts a lot of damage on the rogue here, so it's pretty easy to get back in after I re-stealth and finish it off.
Okay, this is another Warrior Druid comp. We're going to use the same strat that I described earlier, but not everything this time works perfectly. So the first thing that happens that's weird is uh, I get a mace done somehow after he intercepts away, so I can't root him right away. And when I do root, it gets resisted. So that's going to mean the warrior's going to be all over True Killer, doing a lot of damage and keeping him from doing damage to the druid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the druid while True switches targets. So we're splitting damage, and uh, when the druid comes back in line of sight, I'm just going to CC him and buy enough time to finish off the warrior. Next up is a warrior shaman team. Against this comp, I'm going to open up on the warrior while True Killer just sits next to the shaman and gets ready to sap. The second the shaman starts casting a heal, he can be sapped. After that, True is going to run back on the warrior, put all his bleeds up, and then will vanish and get back to the shaman to play interrupts. So I'm on the warrior the entire time here, doing as much damage while True Killer is trying to block as many heals as he can. Last match for Feral 2v2s is a Priest Rogue. Against this team, uh, we like to open on the Rogue as it's going to limit his damage substantially. He's going to spend a lot of time in stuns, and he's going to have to play more defensively. In this case, both players are Dwarfs, which means the Rogue is going to be able to stone form vanish when he gets in trouble. To beat this comp quickly, you're going to need to get some Fear Resist. So having the 15% Fear Resist talent and the 15% AoE Resist talent is going to help a lot against this team. If you don't get any fear resist, you're going to spend a lot of time healing, and you're going to run the risk of going out of mana before something dies. Now we're moving into the balance part of the 